Hello, my beautiful butterflies. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my experience with a Louis Vuitton repair. I also will be changing into this bag, so I also will do a purse swap. So you'll also get to see a what's in my bag today. So without further ado, let's get started. And let me tell you about my repair. So I mentioned back in a previous video that I had took my Louis Vuitton Emprunt Leather Pochette Matisse in for repair. So I had noticed one day when I went to grab it that this brown stuff was falling on the front of the bag and you could see it very clear because the bag is black. Well, when I further inspected it, I noticed that the glazing was falling down from the handle. And I'll insert a clip if I can find it for you because prior to me taking it in, I did take a video clip of this. So I took my bag in on April the 16th. I took it into a Louis Vuitton freestanding store, not the typical one that I shop at with my associate, which is inside of a Bloomingdale's. Boy, was that a mistake. I should have waited till my regular sales associate got back, took it into her, but no. Your girl took it into a freestanding Louis Vuitton boutique, which I feel, in my opinion, the quality of service for as much as Louis Vuitton charges for these handbags should be across the board. I should be able to go into any Louis Vuitton and get service anywhere. Not just feel like I gotta go see this one person that's always familiar with me to, you know, get something done. But anyway, this was such a long journey you guys so i have a little timeline again on april the 16th that is when i took my bag in so the sales associate that i got at that location he was new really really nice he did have to get someone to help him with a repair because again he was a new employee but he took the bag in um the gentleman that came over that helped him to help him look up my purchase of this bag because I actually took it back to the same Louis Vuitton where I purchased it. You don't have to do that, but it so happened that I did. So they looked up the purchase, found everything, explained to me um, because I purchased the bag in 2017, there might be a fee involved. Um, they didn't know quite what it would be but they will send it in for an assessment. So at that time, they didn't know whether the repair was going to be just putting glazing back on or removing the whole handle. Anyway, they told me it probably would be a fee associated, but they told me they would contact me back after the artisan gets the bag and let me know what was going on. So they took everything in, gave me my receipt. On April 16th, I left. So fast forward, I waited until about the end of May and I still hadn't heard anything about the repair piece. So I phoned into customer service. Customer service advised me that the artisans had got the bag, um, but they didn't see any details on it. They would reach out to the store, have the store to phone me and follow up with me about my repair piece. Well, I waited 48 hours like they told me. The store never contacted me, you guys. So I end up going into the store at the end of May because I couldn't get no phone call back. So I went into the store, I got a lady, she looked up my information. She said, oh yeah, the artisans have your bag, but they're just waiting on a piece. 
they're gonna replace the entire handle and it's gonna cost you $390, but they're waiting for the piece to come in. So bear with us and we will contact you as soon as your bag comes in. Now, being totally honest with you, I wasn't too thrilled about paying the $390 to replace the handle because we all know with the Pochette Matisse, they have glazing issues. It's a known fact, you guys. So I wasn't thrilled about paying the $390, but the fact to them that I had the bag since 2017, it was deemed wear and tear. Me personally, I disagree with that because I have so many bags in my collection and I rotate them a lot and I'm very particular, very meticulous about the way I handle my bags. So I don't just throw them around and do all of that stuff. I'm very careful. So I didn't feel like I should have been charged that amount, but I wasn't going to argue with them. So again, I'm in a waiting period again. Fast forward all the way to July 12th. Now, on July 12th, I received this email and after being told that this piece is going to be repaired and they were just waiting for a handle, I get this email. This is blank from Louis Vuitton. Your product is back and ready for collection. The artisans at the repair center has deemed the product to be unrepairable. Due to the condition of the product, they were not able to make the necessary repairs because the repair would compromise the product. If you have any questions, please let us know. So y'all, after I didn't waited all this time, I get this email that they're not even gonna replace this handle. So literally I was pissed you guys because you know you told me something and now it's something totally different so at this point I'm upset I call in to the customer service for them then to have a manager at that location to call me back 48 hours went by again no manager so you know what your girl did I'm wasting time here and my time is valuable. I have to keep going into Louis Vuitton. So mind you, Louis Vuitton is a 45 minute to an hour drive from me. So, okay, I go back into the store and this was on July 18th. So they sent me this email on the 12th. I waited for it the manager to call me back, that never happened, which they told me give them 48 hours at least. So I go back into the store on July 18th to speak to a manager and I didn't want to speak to any sales associate. At that point, I was upset and I wanted to speak to a manager. And let me just say, don't think just because I said I was angry, I went in there acting angry. That is just not how I roll. I'm always cool, calm, collected, and very professional when I'm speaking to someone. That's just the nature of me and my business and the background that I come from. That's just me and it will always be me. So one of the sales associates took my information she went back in the back to get the manager. When the manager came back out, the manager came back out with my bag and she took it out. She looked at it, saw the glazing still not repaired, um, read everything. She was so nice and so apologetic that I had went through this whole ordeal. She asked me to please give her um, a chance to try to get this fixed for me again she said because she noticed that they put in for them to replace the handle when it's a glazing issue they can simply if they can just go in there and replace the glazing on the bag instead of taking a whole handle off which 
for them would have compromised the bag. So she explained to me she was gonna close this whole repair case number, start a new case with just asking them to replace the glazing around the handles where it was coming off and send it back out. She assured me that she would expedite it so she would send it to them as fast as she can get it to them. And she did because I got an email back within three days saying that it was in their hands. She also gave me her business card with her name. And not just that, she gave me the store number so I could just call into the store directly. So I was okay with that. She did explain to me if they weren't, able to fix the glazing then she will find another solution for me so anyway i was good with that i was fine with that and, and you know she made me feel at ease and don't worry i'm gonna get it to them as fast as i can get it to them and they're gonna get it back to me as fast as they can get it back to me so that all happened on the 18th on the 31st y'all my bag was ready for pickup. I went in there, I saw the manager, I thanked her. She waived the $390 that originally was gonna cost me to repair the handle. I don't know how much glazing costs to repair. She just waived everything. So she gave me my bag, she gave me some fragrance samples and apologized again and I left. So all said and done, even though the experience was rough in the beginning, it ended well. So I know that was a lot, you guys, but I have my bag here to share with you guys um, and show you what was repaired. So I have my bag back to share with you. I do have some lovely samples that she put in here for me, you guys. And I think I've probably taken out about two of them with me on travel. But I have, what's that, four left in there. And so here she is, my beautiful Pochette Matisse. I have her back, you guys, in the black emprunt leather. So here is the repair. Right here when you lift the handle is where they replace the glazing on all sides. So right here is where they replace the glazing on all of the sides. So the back side, the front of each handle. Because if you lift the handle up, you will see all of this glazing missing. So it's been repaired you guys i have her back and so it looks like they left my repair receipt back here yeah so that's the um repair part i won't show you because of probably all the information but that is the repair receipt again they waived all the charges for me and i'm just happy that i have it back and um everything has been repaired so there's that there's my beautiful bag which again as you can see you guys this bag looks like brand new because you know i have enough bags in my collection to rotate and i take very good care of them so yeah I'm happy to have that back. Now I'm gonna do a what's in my bag back in here, which is probably gonna take me forever because I've been in this Lululemon bag, you guys. And it's not the belt bag, it's actually a handbag. So it has been accumulating so many things, but I so love this bag because it's one of their quilted bags and it's just very nice, durable, um, 
easy to wear and it just feels so nice one of those like puffy materials and so here is that lululemon bag that i'm talking about you can see it's that quilted material um and it's called quilted something but i will link everything below in case you're interested i've been loving this bag you guys it has a strap on it i can wear it crossbody it fits everything it has the straps interior pockets again this bag is starting to get heavy because that's how much i've been using it and i'm that girl that stuff just accumulates like i could after a week i could have like i don't know how many lip glosses and fragrances in my bag so <laughs> With that all being said, you guys, we're going to clean this one out, take all the unnecessary stuff out and put it away, and then we'll pack up my pochette Matisse. So let's get started with that, you guys. Okay, time to clean out this baby right here because, again, it's getting heavy and I can't have this this thing packs a punch you guys and if you are looking for one like as a travel bag they have a larger size of this um that has the zipper underneath the bottom that you can put it on the top of your suitcase so let's start with the back pocket i typically have my phone back here but i don't have anything back there in the back pocket this is definitely a dumping bag. Okay, guys, so I turned the camera down so you can be able to see what I actually have in this bag. And as you can see, it is quite messy, you guys, because, again, I have been dumping everything under the sun in here. So, first I have my iPhone. And is this a 13? I think this is a 13. So, yeah. It's either 13 or 14, but it's the green backing one. Yeah, that's my phone. Then I have a coupon for Bath and Body Works, which I'll be using because it has a free full-size item on the top. I have my hand sanitizer from Touchland. And this one smells really, really good, you guys. So I have that. And I need to actually start putting the things that I'm going to put back in the Pochette Matisse to this side. And the excess of other stuff that I don't need, I'm going to move it to another side so I can put it away. But um, anyway, up here is my case from Celine with my sunglasses in here. And I'll, these are actually the Celine sunglasses. Um, these are the shadow ones, I think. I love these, so I have those in there. And I have this fragrance here from the House of Siage, right here in this beautiful casing. I don't even know which one this is, but yeah, I have that. And I can probably put that over to another side because, again, I probably have more than enough fragrances in here. So next, I have my four-ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. Need that. Next, I have my agenda, which lately I have been using this as um, taking notes or um, I have some to do list in the back because I am so forgetful these days so I need something to jot down and I have a nice little gold pen on the side there so I'll keep that then I see I have my wallet here which is that beautiful green um, Chanel card case wallet as you would say I love that this has the zipper here for change and I have my main two cards down in here and then the excess of some cards on the back this is one of my go-to pieces I absolutely love it 
Then next, another go-to piece. You guys know how I feel about the mini pochette. I have this one here in the Damier bin. And it's probably quite stuffed right now. Yes. So in here, I have a dispenser. So this dispenser right here dispenses um, dental floss. So if you can see it right here, it pushes up there and then you would just grab your dental floss there. So I have that. Then I have a peel case which has Tylenol in there. And then I have a puff for my eyes um, or my powder, whatever. I have another <laughs> container here that has medicine in it that I got when I was in Aruba. This one I like because it's divided. So I have more Tylenol in there. And then over here I have some Benadryl because yes, I'm that girl, especially when I'm traveling. I need to carry Benadryl with me because I have allergic reactions all the time and will break out all the time. It has happened to me plenty of times. <laughs> Um, so I know better now to drop some Benadryl in my bag. So anyways, I have that peel case. Then I have a lot, a lot of this is probably from me traveling, you guys, too. I have a lot of wet wipes, three different ones there. Um, some band-aids, shout. So I always either carry a shout, wipe and go, or I'll carry my Tide pen, either one with me, um, because you never know when you might spill something on your blouse or something, you need to get it out. I've done that, been there. Always travel with me. Wet one again. Um, one of my flying um, sanitizing wipes um, in there as well. I have some bobby pins. I have um, a nail clipper. I have a mini Tic Tac, which I have one left in this one. And these are the little travel minis you get by at the airport. And I have a uh, Chanel file. Now, you know I did an unboxing with this collection came out and I really don't like glass files. But then I was like, it's a collection. Let me just get one or two. So I end up picking two of these, one in the pink and one in the green. So this is the green one. Then I have a little screwdriver here. I use that to tighten up my glasses if needed. More bobby pins down in there. So that's the end of my little mini pochette there. Next, I have in here a brush. And this is my little brush from Balmain. Always carry this with me. This acts as a comb too, if you could see the bristles here. So always use that. Look at this junk. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Look at my purse, y'all. More shout, more wet ones. As you can tell, I am that girl that loves to wipe everything down. And I have alcohol pads, lens wipes, alcohol pads again, a coupon. Ooh, I get to get a free panty from Victoria's Secret. Need that. Then I have my Louis Vuitton card case in the reverse monogram have a little cash up there I guess some extra cards there I have another pair of sunglasses which I could take these out these are a pair of Ray-Bans and these are my Wayfair I think they're foldable that's why I like these so you see how they just fold out yeah I love these had these for many many years so I can take that pair out then I have this little thing that has been toting around with me everywhere so this is the clay or key pouch as they call it and I love just looking at this thing because it's so so beautiful but I just have mints in there so I have the little ring stuck in there and I have some little mints in there Next, I have this. I probably could take this out now. This is my Hermes Bastia. 
In here, I have loads of change, you guys. Just a whole lot of change, which is weighing down this purse from, you know, getting change back from stores. So I can actually take this out and dump that change. I have, now this, you guys, this and perfume, you probably will see all in the bottom because I'm that person that I use different lip glosses and everything throughout the week. And so instead of taking the old ones out, I just grab another one, dump it in there just to make sure I have it in there. And by the end of the week or whatever, I have loads of them in the bottom of my bag. So <laughs> this is one here from Dior. And it's one of their lip balms in the pink. One of my favorite ones right here. Um, and so, yeah, I love this one. I think this one was like a limited edition because it had the um, Dior signature around it. Um, but the other ones that I have is just clear silver. But I really, really love this pink one. And I think it's in... 001 yeah it's in that pink and it's just a gloss and so next i have this fragrance here by ellis brooklyn so i have this travel spray that smells so so good another lip balm here this one is by notorium and this is another lip balm that um, they have in Target. I'm sure you can find it other places. I'm sure they have a website because they have body care, all of this. I wasn't too enthused about their body care. I know a lot of people rave about it, but it just wasn't for me. Um, but this lip balm, y'all, is the business. Look at this, you guys. I love how the applicator tip is. It fits perfectly on your lips. The formula is amazing. It stays on your lips. I have the clear balm. They do have tinted versions of this too. Um, but yeah, you guys, I will definitely link this down below because this is worth checking out. I love it. Next, I have my foldable scissors in here, which I normally keep in here. But I need to put them back into my mini pochette. That's where I normally keep them. Always love a foldable pair of scissors. And then I have another lens wipe down in here. I have another lip gloss. This, you guys, another one is amazing. I have three of these I picked up from Sephora, you guys. They feel so good and they also give you a tint of color to your lips absolutely love them um, I'm probably not gonna be able to see this shade right now but don't worry I'll link it down below but again whether you get the clear or the tinted version the formula is amazing on this you guys I picked up three of them because that's how much I loved it so got that then down in here I have another balm and I use this balm as an actual lip gloss so this is one of Chanel's all over balms you can use it on your face on your lips on your cheeks what have you um, I love 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 to use it on my lips because it is so moisturizing it does give you a hint of color but if you want to use it on your cheeks I've done that too when I want that glow it's just a perfect all over balm, you guys. So I definitely love that. Was using it as a balm. Oh, we're getting to the bottom. See how many balms I have, y'all? Y'all can tell I love lip balm. In the summertime, I love to use this super goop because it has SPF 30 in it. It's a very nice lip balm. This one has Aki in it, you guys. And yeah, it's just a squeeze tube. But Love my super goop balm as well. And then next I have in here another fragrance. This one is by Nest. 
and this is in the Turkish Rose. Now, I typically don't like roller balls, but this is an oil, you guys, and I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I'm so considering getting the full size oil in this. That's how much I love this, you guys. It's such a beautiful rose scent oh my gosh and because it's an oil it just stays locked into me you guys so tell me if you've tried this out by nest you guys it is amazing this is definitely i'm gonna do a favorites video and this will definitely be in there you guys i love it and then next down in here you guys i have this straw because you guys i always travel with a straw because now in different areas they're giving you these paper straws and me y'all i can't stand it y'all i'm just old-fashioned i don't like paper products i don't eat off of paper plates i don't want a paper straw so all these places that you're going to and you're getting drinks from now they're giving you these paper straws restaurants mm -mm, I can't do it y'all so I pull out my own straw yes I'm that girl and I have this one right here in here and it's so neat because you just pull it like this and here when you go to clean it you have your brush and then if you pull the tip off there is your straw right here and you can just have, you can put the tip back on there for comfort and just pull this part out and then sip out of here. Or you don't have to have this one on at all. But again, I have my stainless steel straw um, that's portable and I take it everywhere with me, especially when I'm traveling, y'all. But this definitely stays in my purse, you guys. So I have a few of these. I picked them up at Amazon. I'll link it if you're interested, y'all. I have to have it. So look at my bag, y'all. It's empty. Let's look at the side pockets because this has a side pocket. So you have a straight side pocket right there, if you can see that. So I turned the camera down and I have a light up above me. So hopefully you can see that very well. And so, on the other side, you have your mesh pockets over here. So you have two individual ones. And so down on this side here, I have a sample fragrance. Again, more fragrance. This one is from Louis Vuitton on the beach. Travel size. And then, oh, I have this, y'all. And I always keep this in my purse. And y'all can call me bougie if you want to. But this stuff works so well. Now, it's pricey for um, what it is. Um, this is from Chanel, and this is their um, oil that you put on your finger. I can't even think of it right now. But I have these little hangnails all the time. Cuticle oil. Gosh, I had to look at my cuticle to think what it was. And you just squeeze it on there, you guys. All you need is a little bit. I put too much. But you see how oily that makes your cuticles? Let me go around the rest of my nails. You take that one little dot and you can go around the rest of your nails. But you see, you guys, how nice it has been making my cuticles, y'all. So I picked this up from Chanel's website. I'm going to purchase this from here on out, you guys, because I love the fact that it has that tip on it. You can carry it along with you. It's not a bottle. You just squeeze it on your nails when you need it, and there you go. This cuticle oil is the bomb, y'all, and I will keep buying it, yes, for, what, 30 bucks? Mm-hmm, yeah, it's pricey for a cuticle oil, but I'm going to keep buying it, and so that completes that side. Now, over here in this side, I have a hand cream, and that's the one from Christian Dior. I unbox with you, and it's the um, La Balm. You can use it on your um, hands, uh, lips, 
and your body if you want to. I just use it for my hands and you know my arms and things like that when I need it. So I don't put it on my lips at all, but it says you can do that. But I use it on my hands. And then the last thing I have down in here is my Chanel Pink Mirror. And this came out with that colors collection. As you know, I did a whole video. I'll link it with all of those mirrors I bought. I think I bought every one with exception of two, but I love them. They're gonna be collector's pieces for me. Now, this pouch didn't come with it. I wish they would have did a pouch something like this, but this pouch actually is Chanel too. And it came with that makeup tweed collection that I unboxed a while back. So I don't carry my makeup out of the house unless I'm traveling. So I thought I would put my mirror in here because it just looks prettier, you guys. I don't like the black one that it came with and plus the black one that it came with gets all these little fuzzies and things on it you know debris all kind of stuff grabs to that material so i like this tweed one y'all so yeah i'm using it for that purpose so yep that was it in this bag you guys that has emptied out this nice little bag here again from lululemon if you're interested in this you guys i'll link it below i probably should do a lululemon collection video because i have so much lululemon stuff i love that store i'm always in there i buy the exercising clothes the bags the hats all the little like little wallets and things just so much stuff again i just love that store and i stay in that store buying things so yeah that completes what was all in my bag now we're gonna put some of these items back into my pochette matisse and then i'll show you guys how that looks Okay guys, I am back. She is ready to go. Here is my beautiful Pochette Matisse in the on prompt leather. I just added one of my confidential bandos and tied it around that handle. So I kind of like braided it and made like a bow at the end. And so that is what she is looking like you guys. And she's all set to go with my things in it. So that will conclude my video for you guys today. Comment down below if you have this piece and you experienced glazing issues, whether you got it repaired or what happened with it. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this piece and if you've had any issues with it. So overall, even though I've had this glazing issue, I still love the Pochette Matisse. It's like the perfect bag to carry all of my essentials in. I love the trunk style look of this bag. The whole aesthetic of this bag is just very pleasing to me. So I love that about this little cutie right here. So I am glad to have this one back. I do also own the monogram in a limited edition, but the handles on that is braided. So I shouldn't have any trouble with that handle. But all in all, you guys, I love this bag. Again, comment down below your thoughts on this bag. If you have it, if you've had any issues, whether you're thinking about buying it, anything like that, let's chat in the comment section. So yeah, you guys, that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this video. 
Um, and yeah, there she is back in my collection. Love her. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.